So to find the resonance of this structure, uh, all you do is find the valence electrons for each one, and that's what I've given. Uh, H is 1, so 1 times 2, and then carbon is 4. So I've done that, and then uh, when it has a plus charge, what that means is that there is one less electron. So you do 17 minus 1 is equal to 16. So there should be a total of 16 electrons in your structure. And when you have these types of molecules, carbons and hydrogens, what you usually do is just try to link the carbons together. So that's what I did. I linked all the carbons together, and then you fill in your hydrogens. And for this one, they actually gave you the clue of a double bond should be here and a single bond should be here. And so just fill in the hydrogens, and then if you count it up, well, each, each one of these is two electrons, so two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So 16 electrons. And the reason why there's a plus charge on this carbon um, is because if we calculate the formal charge, so carbon is in the fourth group, so it would be four. And then if we count it, one, two, three, it'd be four minus three equals one. So that's why we have a plus one charge. Over here though, right, since carbon's four, we do one, two, three, four, four minus four is zero, so that's why it has no charge. So to find the resonance, we need something that matches the um, matches this. So something that only has one charge and uh, doesn't break any octet or anything. So what can we do? Well, usually what you should look for if you want to make a resonance structure are lone pairs and double bonds. So over here we have a double bond. So what can what could we do with that? We could move it over here, but why why make it um more why increase the number of charges? And so the other option is move it here. And so that's actually a good idea. So why why it's a good idea is because when I move it over here, um this becomes a zero formal charge and a plus charge over here. So now we have the same structure, just the double bonds in a different place. So it keeps all everything that was good about this one. Only one charge and everything else is um, has an octet and is satisfied. So uh, yeah, the biggest thing is just try to keep the number of charges down. Um, if you ever have a double bond, that's usually where you should look to um, make the resonance structure or a lone pair. Um, so. I hope that helped and thanks for watching.